All right, guys, let's jump right in. We've got the July edition, July of 2020. This is the Sportsman's Box Denali edition. So like I said, I'm just going to jump right in. I've uh, really been pressed for time lately. Sorry if you can hear the washer and dryer shutting off here in the background, but I didn't want to wait 10, 15 more minutes. Um, like I said, we're pretty pressed for time, but got this last week. Um, just getting to it now, so let's jump in. A little bit smaller box this month. And that is what you're gonna see. So let's look at first, we've got our card. And as you can see, there were eight different items listed for this. Um, now you can actually see it does say the archery style for the sportsman's box. So there are eight different items listed in the Denali experience. You're gonna get six of those items. They've got a nice breakdown along the top of which lettered item goes for which subscription. So we've got six items. This was a $83 box per month with a target MSRP of 140 to 180. Remember those are important numbers. So starting at the bottom and working our way up, the first item in here, it's a little messed up because I'm not gonna lie, we got into this box last week and we used this this last weekend. This is really interesting. This is by Toadfish and it's called the Non-Tipping Can Cooler. It's a metal cooler and uh, like I said, we got into it this weekend and Megan was using it. Let me show you that while I read about it. It says the Toadfish Non-Tipping Can Cooler is the first of its kind unspillable beverage cooler. Our innovative smart grip technology allows the can cooler to stick to any smooth surface from a lack of a cup holders on a rocking boat to wagging dog tails. This product will keep your drink upright, accident free and icy cold. To use, simply place the can cooler on any smooth surface and it will keep your drink in place, securely upright. Also for every product sold, we will replant new oyster beds to help clean our coastal waters. Let's put them back. It's so like I was showing you on that video there. You can see you put it down and you can hit it pretty good and it's not going over. But just barely lift up. It's not really suctioned on. It's just got this leaner suction on the bottom with a leaner plate. You can actually go on a vertical surface as well for the most part. Pretty interesting. It is really slick. <laughs> a really neat item. They haven't listed, oh I guess I'll show you this too. So there's two versions. There's a $24 and a $28 version. The $28 version had two different tops. So you've got your normal size can and you've got for the skinny cans whatever kind of drinks come in those skinnier tall cans. So you've got the adapter with it. It also it came with some information and it came with a toadfish sticker which I think is really cool. I do harp on that often that I think products should include their marketing stickers in there for free. Shouldn't be an additional cost. So I like that. As far as the cup, like I said, you can get it, they have it listed at 24, and you can actually get the one with the adapter here for 28. So right now, right off the bat, you've got a one or an $83 box, and you're at 24 on your MSRP, and you're at 28 on your market value, just one item in. Next item is by CBE Custom Bow Equipment. You've got, you've got the Affect Hunting Stabilizer here. This is a six inch stabilizer. 
and it's got two one ounce weights. It says designed to steady your bow while aiming and reduces movement while aiming, resulting in improved accuracy. I think we all, if you're in archery, you know what a stabilizer is for, so that's a pretty dry definition of it. It's pretty sleek looking. You know, it's kind of got that flat liner look. If I show you my bow up here with the Matthews flat liner stabilizers on it. This one kind of has that same look to it. And it looks like you're just going to use an Allen head. So this means that you could probably buy additional weights. I think there's two up there. Yep. Yeah. So you can see there's two separate one ounce weights right now. You can typically buy more weights and then add those to your front here. That longer peg. So you can get a lot more weight running out front of this bar. However much weight you get on there though, then you just screw this in. And again, you're gonna be able to tighten it up using your Allen head. But on all, that's a really nice stabilizer. They've got it listed as a $45 value. You're gonna find it here for 40 at your best market value. And that would bring you to an $83 box, 69 on your MSRP and 68 on our market value. Remember, if you guys are looking for these items, and I've shown it on Amazon. You can go ahead and find the link in the description below and use the affiliate link. Um, it's going to help out Middle American Outdoors um, if you use those links, if these are items that you're looking for. And it's typically the best price you can find it for on the internet anyway. So let me put that back. Might be something that makes it on my wife's bow. If she gets that technical, we'll see. Might be something that goes into a giveaway or to bring some money back to paying for these boxes, I suppose. We'll see. Next item, item number three in this box is the Scott Archery Quick Shot. And I am not gonna take this out of the box because I'm not certain that I would try it or use it. I'm pretty happy. I actually do use Scott Archery right now. I use the Pursuit thumb release right now and I'm really happy with that. This one looks nice though, it's got the clasp, looks like leather wrist strap and instead of a metal bar between the wrist it's just got a rope so it's just going to pull tight and then you got a typical finger trigger. It does say on here, the new Scott Quick Shot release delivers unmatched accuracy and reliability and an affordable design. You know, it says it's got the uh, signature style with the ultra crisp trigger activation on that. It's a pretty nice looking release. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna get it out because I don't envision I'll be using it. Um, might make it into a giveaway or a for sale pile, we'll see. This though, they've got it listed at 45. You can find it here on the Amazon for 38. Link in the description below if you're looking for trying out a release like this. That'll bring you to an $83 box, 114 on your MSRP and 106 on your market value with halfway through the items here. Next item, HME Bowstring Wax, bam. Bowstring wax is bowstring wax. I don't need to go on a big speech about bowstring wax. They've got it listed at a $5 value. I uh, give them credit for five. So you've got, let's see. The one thing I would say about bowstring wax, you can never have enough. Put a stick of it everywhere, just in case you need it in the field, in your pack, in your truck, wherever. Just put a stick of it everywhere since you get them in these boxes and they're cheap. got an $83 box you're at MSRP 119 you're at market value of 111 right now next item is 
Birchwood KC. Wild game targets. I really like these things. Gotten them in a different box before. These are 35 inches by 23 inches total. You can see the design here. This is a big broadside elk target. And they do line out the vitals on those targets. There's two of them in here. It's very heavy duty paper, so you could probably shoot it up pretty good. I like them. I put them on the uh, bulldog targets, the uh, double dog that we have out in the garage and I pull out into the backyard to shoot at. So these fit really well on that double dog. I also have one down here in the basement that's set up vertically for uh, French tuning, etc. But really neat item. There's two of them in this pack. It says realism replicates real life and practice makes perfect. These large format paper targets will have you prepared to harvest your next trophy. Target is specific to one of your interests. So I guess maybe if you chose turkey, you got turkey. I love elk. I never get to hunt them because I live in a part of Nebraska where they just aren't. Um, but I really hope down the future that we get a lot more chances to go out west and do some spot and stock elk hunting as that's much more up my alley for um, style of hunting and exercise and just being out in nature. So I love elk. I dream about them. I'm happy to have some more elk targets. They've got a list at a $5 value. Find it here for 4 You've got an $83 box, you're at market value of 120, or excuse me, you're at MSRP of 124, and you're at market value of 115 with one item to go. And that last item is also by HME. You know, HME, Hunting Made Easy, is a company that's basically like an everyday working man's company. Uh, it's supposed to make hunting affordable for the everyday man. They've really come out with some quality items and they are getting their hands into everything now. You can usually find them at your local tractor supply stores or bomb guards or horselands or whatever your local uh, places are in these small towns, which to be able to find hunting gear in a small town is pretty amazing. But like I said, they're really getting their hands into a lot of different things and they've been quality items. That last item for this month then is the HME phone card reader. And one thing that's really impressive about Sportsman's Box is I opened this box last week when I got it and realized this wasn't in there. So I contacted them. They immediately got it shipped out um, so I could get it into the box, show it, and uh, get this recorded and out to y'all. So kudos to Sportsman's Box and their customer service on that quick response. And it was no questions asked, which I, I mean, I really appreciate. I had no problem showing them a picture, but there's just no questions asked, and they took care of it. It says here that no matter your device, see your photos on the go with this 4-in-1 card reader. I like how it compacts down and then you can take your different adapters out of the back side here. So you've got the ability to use for iOS um, and for the Android system, also the micro USB, the USB-C, the USB 2.0, then lightning port, which is <laughs> crazy. Um, you know, we upgraded our Mac software, our Mac computers, etc., for editing, and they switched over to this new USB port, which is the total pain. So it's really cool that this can basically go to old computers, new computers, different types of cell phones, all of the above, and get us able to read micro cards on this side and normal size cards over here, even. They've got that listed, and I like that it's neon orange so it's easy to find. They've got it listed as a $30 value. You can find it over here at tw for $25, which would bring you to an $83 box. You're at MSRP of $154, nailing their goal of $140 to $180. They got over it, so that's awesome. And your market value is at $140. So I spent $83 and I got $140 worth of gear that I could go out and buy today. So that's just incredible markup our incredible gain I would say um, I've been really impressed with Sportsman's Box so far all the different boxes I've gotten in the Denali the Denali version um, if you guys are impressed by this if you want to give this a shot if you got comments on any of these items just hit them up below let us know uh, I love to engage with the community and discuss the different items 
if this is something you guys would be interested in, make sure you click on the link in the description below as that's going to get you $10 off and it's also going to get a little bit of money coming back to Middle American Outdoors to help offset the cost of these boxes and bringing this content to y'all. Again, I just thank you guys for checking in. I thank you for watching these things, um, for giving feedback as we continue to grow and learn. We're getting really excited as September's right around the corner. We've got some more videos coming out soon with Jake giving some hunting tips and scouting tips uh, out in Kansas. And uh, more subscription boxes to come as well. So, hope you guys are doing well. Enjoy the rest of your summer. 